So this jacket as it is, the Moscow Moto Basilisk jacket, is, has a fatal flaw. This jacket, and I don't say this lightly, this jacket by itself is unwearable. Normally I like to wait quite a while before I do my product reviews and stuff, but this one really demanded my attention. On the return trip from Big Red, it was so unbelievably hot. It was like, you know, 40 degrees or whatever. Like when I was riding on the dirt, it wasn't a huge issue, right? Because I take the jacket off, the jacket stowed, and I'm just wearing the arm underneath. But when I'm on the highway, I want to be wearing the jacket. And even if it's 40 degrees or 42 degrees or whatever it is, I mean, 40 degrees, I think is around 100 and, is it 106 or something? It's over 100 degrees, 105 or something. If it's, if it's over 100 degrees, I should still be able to wear this jacket, dump a bottle of water on my head and get cooled off. But what was happening is I would dump a bottle of water into my jacket and there was n just no airflow going into the jacket. I'll show you what the vents look like in a second. I was so pissed off wearing this jacket, I actually had to pull over, take the jacket off, and I could not wear my jacket on the highway the, w the rest of the way home. But man, I just had to pull over. I am absolutely cooking. Like I've been stopping every 100 Ks and like pouring like half a bottle of water inside my jacket and everything. But that jacket, I'm sorry. Man, I got some stuff to say about that jacket when I got back, when I get back. It is just too freaking hot. The air does not circulate. It does not go into the jacket. You just cook. It's ridiculous. I'm actually so freaking pissed off about it. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ride without a jacket. I mean, at the very least, I got armor, but um, I cannot actually ride with that jacket. I am just, I'm going to go into like heat stroke with that jacket. Even with all the air, you know, doing 100, you know, 10 Ks an hour, even with all the air, I'm just cooking. What's supposed to happen is you've got these ports on the chest, okay? And those vents or ports or whatever are supposed to let air come in. But if you look at the, the port itself, the way that it sits, when the air is pushing it, it pushes it straight down. So it doesn't matter if it's unzipped or zipped. It, the, the effect is exactly the same. If the jacket is unzipped, the wind is pushing the chest of the jacket down. This is the main vent. Well, how? just think about it for a second. How is air supposed to get in the vent of the jacket if air, if the faster I go, the more force is pushing down in the chest to actually close the vent? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the vent is unzipped or zipped. The impact is the same. There's no air coming in. From a waterproof perspective, I totally get that. Water is not going to make its way into the jacket. So I, I have a feeling, obviously, this is done. This is a design. This is a feature, right? There, you'd say this, is a bug. this isn't a bug. This is a feature. Well, I'm telling you right now, it is a bug. And it's a fatal flaw of this jacket. And it actually makes the jacket unwearable. Okay, you, you cannot wear this jacket on the highway. You will get zero airflow. And if it's hot at all, you're gonna get you're gonna have a heat stroke and you're gonna die. It's just that simple. The jacket is unwearable. And I don't say that lightly. I'm a big Moscow Moto fan. I did this other review of all their product. I love their product. And not only that, not only do I do I still like Moto, Moscow after buying this jacket, even after I bought this jacket and I wore it and I decided there was a fatal flaw in the jacket, I still went out and bought the basilisk pants and I'll show you what they did with the basilisk pants and I bought the 12 liter backpack um, hydro pack I'll show you that in a second too but the point is I, I find it impossible to believe that anybody who bought this jacket and wore this jacket didn't find this a problem like it's actually the jacket is unwearable it is unwearable okay you cannot and I I, I know it sounds like I'm going on about it but you cannot wear this jacket. This jacket is flawed to the point where it is, I would actually say it's defective the way it's been designed and it is unwearable. Okay. Now I, I've got a situation though. I've got a $1,200 jacket that I cannot wear because there's zero airflow. 
Well, what do we do? Well, here's what I did. Notice how this pocket is propped open. This pocket is not. So what I did was I actually took one of these little grabber claw things, one of these things, right? Just one of these little grabby claw things. And I took this grabby claw thing, and I'll show you. First of all, this still zips up. I can still zip it up, close it, whatever. All I did was I took that grabby claw thing and I just made that circular spring so that it could sit inside the pocket. So the idea is that it props the pocket, the, the actual vent open so that when I'm riding, I can get airflow in there. So this thing cost me eight bucks. I got two of them, 16 bucks. This works. Okay, this pops the vent open and I get airflow in there. I, I, I understand that these guys probably, and again, this is not just me hating on Moscow. I really like the Moscow product. I still made purchases of additional Moscow. I spent another 1500 bucks or whatever it is on gear after I bought this jacket. Okay, so let's just be clear on that. I have a problem with this jacket. I don't think you should buy the jacket unless you're going to invest another $16 to do something like this. Or I think the Basilisk, ba Basilisk 2 might have fixed this problem. I don't know. Um, so it's not just me hating on the jacket. It's me telling you that if you watch this review and you go and buy this jacket the way it is, you're going to put the jacket on, you're going to ride five minutes down the road, and they're going to say, oh, the jacket's really hot. Yeah, the jacket's really hot. You can't wear the jacket because there's no airflow, especially if you're wearing a chest piece underneath the jacket. You, you will get zero airflow. Yeah, you get some a little bit coming out of this, the vents in the arm, but that only goes into the arm. Even if you, even if you make the sleeves super baggy, which I do, it's not enough airflow. If you open the vents in the back, it does have vents in the back, the air doesn't come into those vents. Those vents are there for air to flow out. But if there's no air coming in the chest through here, it doesn't matter. You, you can... You can blow on this with a hundred mile an hour, you know, hundred kilometer an hour wind. It's just going to push the pocket down harder. No air is going to go in there. So if you are going to buy this jacket, I'm telling you now, you had better think about whether or not you're actually going to spend another $16 and come up with a solution to this. I'm not saying it has to be this, but the, <clears throat> the nice thing about this is it's a spring, right? So I can still zip that up when I want it zipped or I can open it. Okay. It's a very simple hack. I'm telling you now, if you buy the Basilisk jacket, you are going to cook. You are 100% going to cook. Now, I don't know about the States. I mean, I wasn't riding through Arizona or riding through the Mojave Desert in the summer. I don't know what it's like there. I was riding in the Australian Outback in the Australian environment, and it's pretty hot. Okay. Um, but I shouldn't have to not, I shouldn't. I should still have the option to wear my jacket when I'm riding down the highway and get ventilation. And like I said, what I was doing was I was dumping half a bottle of water on my head so that the inside, everything was soaked. And normally on my other jacket, I would open up those vents, like even on the climb or the, um, the Revit, right? There's other jackets where you can pin, you can pin the vent open. Now this doesn't have that option. So if you dump a bottle of water on your head and you pin that open, you're going to get airflow in there and it's going to act like an air conditioner and it's going to cool you off. Not this one. Um, I like the way the jacket feels. I actually love the way the jacket feels. It's very comfortable. It's lightweight. Um, it's the jacket, the jacket itself is amazing except for that one thing, like everything else about the jacket. I got a size medium just about sizing. I weigh a hundred and what do I weigh? About 78, 70, between 76 and 78 kilos. I'm five, 10. Um, and I wear a medium. The jacket was true to size and that's a size medium with all the Liat armor chest piece. You know, it's got the shoulder guards in there and the elbow pads. And I have no issue. The jacket fits perfect. Okay. There's no issue with that. All the other features of the jacket are great. The waistband is nice. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, everything else is cool. I, 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 I like all of that about the jacket, but the jacket, because of the fact that the vents don't work, is unusable. Here's the other thing I don't like about the jacket. The, when, I, when the jacket, when it's hot, you cook. When it's cold, you freeze. This jacket, because it's so thin and so minimalist, which is again how they designed it to be, 
if you do not wear a liner, you're going to freeze. It does, like to ride around at say 10 degrees, 15 degrees, I would kind of expect a jacket like this. I shouldn't have to have a liner. It's not freezing. I mean, 10 degrees is like, meh. If you ride around and it's even remotely chilly, you're going to freeze. Okay. You are going to freeze with this jacket. So you must wear a liner in this jacket. So what I found is when it's hot, the jacket's too hot. When it's cold, uh, you have to, you have to wear a liner, which is fine. I have the, um, the Jackaloft liner and I love that liner. And when you put the liner in over the top of your armor, again, everything's fine. You're, you're warm enough, but it's a very thin jacket. It's, it is a minimalist jacket. So yeah, thoughts on the jacket. I love the idea of the jacket. I love a lot of things about the jacket, but the jacket currently off the shelf is unwearable. It is unwearable. It is unusable until you deal with the vent problems. That's, that's my view on the jacket. Anyway, I'll quickly show you the pants just so you can see what the pants look like and I'll show you what they've done with the vent on the pants and then I'll show you that um, that 12 liter hydration pack with the chest rig. It's really, really cool. I really like that. All right, so on the pants, I'll show you the pants in a sec. Um, on the pants, they fixed the problem. And again, I'm not hating on Moscow. It's just that every every shot we take isn't a home run. It's okay, it doesn't. And, and again, the point I'm trying to make is I'm giving you my honest feedback. I still like the product. I ordered the pants after I got back from Big Red. So after my stent in the desert, after I had issues with the vents, and look, springs back in there, stays open. So I still like the brand, I still like what they're doing. And I think they'll make an iteration on this and they will fix this. They'll take feedback and they'll fix it. But I'm telling you right now, don't buy the jacket unless you're willing to address the vent issue, okay? Now, if you look at the pants, anyway, it's not a review of the pants, I'm just showing you some of the features. I literally, it's brand new, I have not worn them around yet. Um, size for the pants that I got, I got 36. And the reason I got 36 is I wear a 34 and I actually intentionally wanted it to be a little bit bigger. It does have belt loops and I wear the hip pads. I think I probably would have been, I think a 34 would have fit, it would have fit okay. But I just want a little bit more space in my pants because let's be honest, you know, holidays come around, <laughs> you know, you might put on a couple extra kilos. I didn't want my pants to fit tight at some point. So again, I'm 5'10", I'm, a, I'm a, you know, 76, 78 kilos. I went with the size 36 pant and they fit. They're quite long. And the other thing I really like about these pants is they're an over the boot. If you've seen my other videos, you know, you know I like to wear my pants over my boots. So it's an over the boot pant, which is really awesome. Um, so anyway, those are the Basilisk pants. I'll show you the backpack real quick. Man, this thing, and again, this is not a review. I'll do a proper review at some point. I'm just showing this because I got the, I just got the gear. This bag is amazing. I'm so glad I waited for this. This bag is awesome. This is the 12 liter. Um, it has a massive pack in the front. It's got, um, it holds three liters and I got mine with the the chest rig and I'll show you what this looks like in a second. This is freaking so cool, man. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad to get rid of the camelback, the piece of junk that I was carrying on my back. This is so high quality. This is so well thought out, so well engineered. Anyway, this is not a review for this. I'm just showing you what I got. I'll do a review at some point, you know, maybe next year after I've used this thing for a year, but I just wanted to show off what I got. So first impressions of the of the Wildcat, it's super comfortable to wear. The weight dispersion is really good. That chest rig is amazing. I keep my, my beacon in there or my sat phone in there, some bug spray or, you know, whatever. It's amazing. And I like that it puts some weight in the front. It balances the weight out. I've got massive back issues. I've got two compressed vertebrae in my neck and I've got two compressed vertebrae in my lower back, L4, L5, S1. So I'm basically always in pain and I can't take a lot of compression on my back. So the way that this displaces kind of the weight is, is really good. And I had no problems hiking around with that. So there's a new series coming out, a hunting series I've got coming out that I'm in the middle of filming. And I've been using that backpack on the hunting series and it's amazing. Uh, it's really, really amazing. I should wear the pants actually. 
Maybe I will wear the pants. But anyway, there's a hunting series that I'm in the middle of filming. I've done the first episode on that. But um, anyway, so I've been wearing this gear, the backpack, the Wildcat on that hunting series. Anyway, um, yeah, just my initial thoughts. Sorry about the jacket, guys. It's a, it's a missed opportunity. I do not recommend anybody purchase this jacket unless you go into it with open eyes and you understand that you're not going to get any ventilation in the chest as is you're going to have to make a modification to that maybe the new basilisk has fixed that problem i don't know um, but anyway that's my review i still like the gear i still like the company i'm still obviously supporting them and purchasing their stuff the wildcat's amazing the pants at first glance i mean i literally just tried them on i haven't worn them they seem just fine but um yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna buy this jacket get yourself a hook Otherwise, that's it for me, guys. Get hard, stay hard, stay safe out there. And if you do have, if you have a Moscow jacket, I'd be really curious to know what your thoughts are. I didn't see anything about this in the reviews. Maybe I overlooked it, but I'm curious if you have the same thing or if I'm just being overly sensitive about the heat. Yeah, whatever.